Power Outage blog isn't a Power Outage blog anymore. The adventure's over. We got power back today after, I don't know, eight days, something like that, seven, between seven and nine days. So, we're done. This has been an adventure. I'm just burning the last of the firewood I chopped. Grabbing some heat out of it. The house is still cold. I turned this main switch on just a few minutes ago. The walk is hard at work. This thing made a very good job. Uh, I had over 16C tonight while the power was off. So that's very good. But quite soon. Ugh. The magical box in here is going to have taken over all the heating duties. Ugh. Magical grind effect heat pump. Heating my life. So we're already up to 32C circular. No, what? Okay, these. These numbers are wrong, we don't have 25 and 32. We, d we don't get 32C in the 300 litre tank in a matter of minutes. Though this thing is surely gonna work quite hard, yeah. It's running at absolutely maximum power, 90. Uh, due to cycle on the compressor, 90 RPM, whatever that means. So this thing is gonna be drawing about uh, 10 kilowatts for Probably the next day or two, as all the stuff in the house heats up, all the concrete and wood and everything in between. I have a million batteries to charge. But yeah, this has been a fun adventure. That thing will go to hell. <sighs> and out in the yard. I have like 10 trees that I need to chop off and turn into firewood, so this thing is not going to be able to work, even though we have power, because hey, free, free heat is free heat. Uh, it's certainly nice to have. And the walk of power is doing its job up to 30 C already from the first burning of the day. That's amazing. <sighs> Uh, thank you for watching. This has been an adventure. Cheerio. Oh, I've seen this thing in daylight, though. <laughs> That's quite amazing. The efficiency of this whole setup keeps absolutely fascinating me because I've been burning wood for less than 30 minutes today, and uh, our thin temperature is uh, just about. 30C, something like that, this doesn't radiate super well. But yeah, just over 30C, most of it. And the outlet temperature we get out of the fans, it's also pretty much 30C. So we're raising the temperature of the air by a good uh, 10 degrees, well 10, 20 degrees, depends a bit where I point this thing, I think it's seen the floor sometimes, but if we put on the motor, that shouldn't be making too much heat, and uh, it's uh, also coupled to the air quite well. So raising the temperature of the air for uh, 20C, we've already raised the temperature in here 2 degrees since uh, I started, and uh, the radiators have not come up to temp much at all. It was about 13C in the real heating system. So all the heating is being done by this construction in half an hour over a C. That's... I, I, I am proud of this thing. I am very proud of this thing. It's kept me warm for about a week.